welcome back to another episode of uh, With Lacucci River Report, uh, slash AKA <laughs> Resurrecting the Dinosaurs. I'm just giving a, a little overview of, of what I accomplished over the last year. Uh, last year, this railroad wasn't in here. It is here this year. Uh, I haven't done much on it, say, in the past week. Uh, of course, with the holidays and everything, it's New Year's. Well, now now it's now it's January second already. It's it's like two, three in the morning now. I had the night off <laughs> for once. Didn't get didn't get the night off on Christmas night. I had to go in at midnight. Technically, it wasn't Christmas anymore. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> over the past year, we, you know, we did several resurrections of locomotives, two of which I've since sold off. You know, I sold both of those BL2s, but I still leave those up on, of course, I leave all my videos in YouTube. Uh, yeah, I really, I really can't complain. I've, I've got tons of rolling stock. i got plenty of locomotive power. I've got plenty of power packs. <laughs> Three. I just picked up three for five bucks at a at a yard sale not three or four months ago. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I I I I fixed a couple of uh, F7s up. We made the Bok Pem Chua Pacific, which of course is a mixture of Manchua, Bachman, and Pemco uh, components mixed into one. Uh, which that locomotive has turned out to be a fairly nice one. You've seen it on, uh, you, you've seen me running it on Dana's uh, West Hernando Central at, at Dana's Railroad Supply. Uh, I plan on doing some videos this year of weathering. I did release a DVD last year called Weathering 101. Didn't do well at all, but then I guess there was just kind of too much about it. And what I'll do is just some basic weathering techniques involving uh, eye makeup. I love to work with eye shadow. Not over my eyes, on the railroad equipment. You look at the bulk of my railroad equipment, you see what I'm talking about. You know, because take that Milwaukee Road box car there. That car was done with eye shadow. Sorry about the jog there in the, in the camera. And, of course, the car next to it hasn't been done at all. Another one done with eye shadow. Yep. That PS2 covered hopper. And there's another one down here. Same, same situation. Also done with eye shadow. As long as you use the earth tones, you can uh, make them look pretty good. And then there's another box car sitting right there also done with eyeshadow. Like I said, it's one of my favorite techniques and, and one of the things about the technique uh, of using eyeshadow for your for your weathering medium is that the more you handle the car after you've weathered it, the better it begins to look. It just it begins to take on an amazingly realistic look about it because you're you're Every time you handle the car, you're rubbing some of the weathering off. Un unlike powders, which won't stick at all, eye makeup will stick to the rolling stock. It's, it's an oil-based product, so it sticks. Uh, I'll show you what kinds of eye makeup to buy. You want to buy, of course, the cheapest stuff you can find, but you also only want to buy the earth tones and the, and the whites and the darks. Because, uh, you know, buying anything else would, of course just wouldn't come out at all. I would also add that the weathering that was done on this great northern box car, now it was done with paint washes. I love to use paint washes also. The uh, New York Central box car right behind it was done the same way. Uh, the paint washes also come in very handy. Then of course I have cars that were done with the airbrush. Different weathering techniques do tend to give your railroad a little bit more realistic flavor 
because they tend to make the the uh, rolling stock look like it came from various parts of the country or been to various parts of the country and weathered in different ways other than having any kind of carbon carbon copy weathering that ca that car there I picked up I got it weathered from its original owner just like I did the great that great northern box car you looked at just a second ago uh, another nickel plate caboose the nickel plate caboose there is another one that uh, came pre-weathered I had gotten that one that way from its previous owner so you, you can also find now, now of course if you're looking to retain the value of your the monetary value of your rolling stock weathering it is not a good idea but you know over the course of the next few months for those of you who like to have a little bit more realistic looking model railroad many of you out there are afraid to take paint to brush and do a wash many of you guys out there are probably just as afraid to walk into Walmart and purchase cosmetics because manly men don't buy cosmetics <laughs> but that's where I'm headed now the uh, the standard format of the weekly with Lacucci River report or the the with Lacucci River report I don't know I'm you know I'm, I'm not probably not going to go back to a standard format on that I'm probably just going to do those occasionally when I get stuff done on the railroad so until next time, happy railroading.